Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping the races from the North Pole Downs in Tula, Greenland on Christmas Day, December the 25th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle race of the day. I'm going to focus on race 8 this afternoon, folks, uh, 2 a.m. Eastern Post Time for the Mistletoe Stakes. It's a 5,600 kilometer steeplechase for four-year-olds and up. It's a grade 1A event, and the purse this afternoon is 1.7 times 10 to the 27th. US dollars. I had some doubts I'd make this trip this year as a company that I was working for as a computer consultant was sold and my job was outsourced to a computer group in Pakistan leaving me as one of the current e economic crisis statistics. Fortunately my first unemployment check last week and I was able to save enough of it to buy a, p a ticket to uh, Greenland, pack my limo, okay it's a PT cruiser, to drive to Newark, uh, New Jersey airport to catch my flight it's indeed been snowing here in Greenland, but the landing strip has been cleared. After all, it's Christmas as opposed to the holiday season. Well, folks, all the balmy temperatures here in my area of central Pennsylvania over the course of the last two days have not had any influence on the record snowfalls here in Tule, Greenland, as North Pole Downs host their annual feature, the Mistletoe Stakes. The weather is back to normal today, hovering around 14, minus 14 degrees Celsius. You know, the United States is the only country in the world that still uses that stupid English system. Even England's converted to the metric system. Now, as I said, it's minus 14, uh, which compared to last week's temperature, I've been reading the papers in the United States about the weather here in Greenland. is about 25 degree decrease in temperature, despite the chilly breezes and the new snow. Attendance is up again this year, and the folks are ready for action. Most of this field was actually entered last year, and as expected, the old broodmare number three, Mrs. Claus, who is again running on Lasix, will spring into the early lead. She's the early riser in this field. She'll be out of the gate early, hopes once again to press her male counterparts into submission. As they head into the 23rd kilometer pole, unfortunately her pace profile showed that she'll weaken from the early pace, and her recently gelded number seven, Rudolph, known to the medical elite as the quadruped with the vermilion proboscis, showing the effects of the medical sword with a brilliantly glowing nose to complement his base skin, suddenly will burst into the lead, being pursued by a closely paired entry of number one Prancer and number one A Dancer, who will stick to the lead for another 475 kilometers. But you know, folks, jockey Jesus Nazaretho is unbeaten on the giant horse number seven Chris Kringle, the German bred of the giant causeway lineage, will take total control of the situation at the 975 kilometer mark for another victory here at North Pole Downs. This is an unusual race, folks. Unlike others on the card today, only wood betting is allowed, so I have not formulated my usual contenders list for the exotic players. Take this one to the bank, folks. Chris Kringle in a near walkover. It's been another painful year, especially in Iraq and Afghanistan. Let's get our soldiers home. Whatever your religious affiliations are, Enjoy the race, enjoy the season, Merry Christmas, have a peaceful trip to the window. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, HarnessLink.com and DayTheTrack.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.